I'm your friend Chris Combs. I've started a new snake farm business that I haven't told you in a while to give you a surprise. If you have even a shred of love for a mother who would never repay a drop of milk if you cut your own skin into a shoe, tell me I promise to watch the video till the end and leave a like and a comment. Welcome everyone to my snake farm. You can come to my farm in your free time and show different types of snakes. Snake farming is actually a very profitable business. As snake bite kills human life, snake venom is used to save human life. After completing proper training, I have entered into this business and am earning a lot of profit from this business with your prayers. I gifted all the dollars I earned from the snake farm in the first month to my lovely wife. My wife is the only queen of the world to me who is second to none. There are different types of business in the world, but today I will tell you in detail why I chose this snake farm business and how much money can be earned from this business in the first month. Snake venom is very rare in this world. And we know that all kinds of rare things are very expensive. In the first month, I earned $200,000 from the snake farm. I decided to distribute half of the first month's dollar from the snake farm business to poor people. And half a dollar I will give to my dear wife. Oh yes, let me tell you what kind of snakes I have in my farm. But before that, let me give you a big update. For most people, their wedding day is a moment of pure joy and celebration. However, for Amy Slayton, one of the stars of the reality show 1000 LB Sisters, her special day began with unexpected sorrow. The reality series follows the weight loss journeys of Kentucky-born sisters Amy and Tammy Slayton, who together weigh a little over 1,000 pounds, 453.5 kilograms. Viewers witness their challenges and triumphs as they strive to shed weight and improve their lives. Recently, the focus was on Amy as she prepared to marry her partner, Michael Halterman, for the second time. Amy shared her excitement with the cameras, revealing that she and Michael had already tied the knot at the courthouse. Despite that, she couldn't help but feel a tinge of sadness about not having experienced a real wedding ceremony. The desire for a genuine celebration of their love lingered in her heart. On the morning of her much-anticipated wedding day, Amy received a phone call that would cast a shadow over her emotions. The news she received was heartbreaking, leaving her feeling deeply hurt and vulnerable. It was a stark contrast to the happiness she had hoped to embrace on this significant occasion. As the cameras continued to capture the emotional roller coaster, viewers couldn't help but empathize with Amy's plight. Weddings are meant to be a symbol of love and unity, surrounded by family and friends, but Amy was grappling with feelings of disappointment and sadness. Despite the emotional turmoil, Amy's resilience shone through. She was determined to move forward and make the most of her wedding day, cherishing the love and support she received from her partner, Michael, and her other loved ones who were present. The bond between Amy and Michael proved to be a source of strength during this challenging time. The weight of not having a traditional wedding weighed heavily on Amy, but she refused to let it overshadow the happiness she could find in the present. She and Michael exchanged vows again, reaffirming their commitment to each other, and embraced the day as a symbol of their enduring love. As the cameras rolled, the viewers were reminded that life's most important moments are not without hurdles and heartaches. Amy's journey on 1000 LB Sisters isn't just about physical transformations, it also delves into the emotional complexities that 